So let us come back and solve the 2015 paper. So what is given to us? What is the rate of a reaction? We'll write two factors that affects the rate of the reaction. Okay, we have already done a video on this. So what is the rate of reaction? Basically, it is a decrease in concentration of the reactants and increase or increase in concentration of the products per unit time. Right? Please watch the video. I have done uh, the first, I think first or second video of chemical kinetics. And what are the factors which affects the rate of the reaction? This also video was done on this topic also. So what are the different factors we said? Nature of the reactant, concentration of the reactant, effect of temperature or temperature con uh, factor, effect of catalyst, then we also said physical physical state of the reactant. They have asked you to write any two, you can write, pick up uh, temperature and uh, as I feel concentration of the reactant and temperature, these two would be enough. So let us come and solve the numerical, please watch the video for the first question properly. Yes, so the rate constant of the first order reaction increases from this to this. Right. So they have given me rate constant, what do they give us? write the given data first they have given me k1 how much is it 4 minus 2 now and how much k2 is equal to 8 into minus 2 when the temperature changes from so they have given me two temperatures here yes so <coughs> what do they give us t1 is 27 degree and t2 is 37 degree centigrade what should i calculate i have to calculate ea I have to calculate E right now as soon as this is given to you it's simple Arrhenius equation but remember as soon as this temperature is given to you try to add your 273 Kelvin to both 273 that's important then only you'll get it will get converted 300 degrees and this becomes 310 degrees correct yes done. now my data is ready I'll apply in the formula what is the formula uh, we have done log k2 by this is your Arrhenius formula Arrhenius equation formula I have done a video on Arrhenius equation formula please go through the video and then try to solve this and learn this k2 by k1 is equal to 2.303 <coughs> yes so what do we uh, write 2.303 then we have uh, written your r isn't it yes yeah yeah then we have written your uh, temperatures and what do we write no oh, what did i write i did a mistake here i have to write ea by 2.303 r yeah 2.303 r correct then we are here by t1 t2 t2 minus t1 this is what i got right i'm sorry i did a mistake here yeah so this is your basic uh, this is your we have derived this from arrhenius equation now apply the data from that now what is log k2 your k2 is 8.8 .8 in 10 of minus 2 what is k1 4 into 10 power of minus 2 yes is equal to ea i have to find out ea then into 2.303 what is our gas constant isn't it how much is gas constant 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse yes now put the bracket close the bracket now what do we have t2 is <coughs> your 310 minus your t1 is 300 divided by t1 into t2 310 into 300 simple now that is uh, uh, solve the whole thing this and this uh, gets uh, cancelled correct now uh, here four ones are four two so you get log two correct now is equal to ea by the whole thing here 2.303 into 8.314 uh, joule kelvin inverse mole inverse now this comes to your 10 isn't it 10 divided by i think yeah it is 93 three zeros now i can easily find ea ea is equal to cross multiply log 2 what is log 2 value given to us here they are given 0 0.3010 so 30.3010 into 2.303 into 8.314 into 93.00 divided by 10 simple yes so what do i get when i solve this i get an answer of 53598.5 joules because this is your unit for activation energy e energy of activation that's your unit so please note it simple get right the given data apply it in the formula and finally you get an answer for e that is activation energy measured in joules
<coughs> so let us come back to actually 2015 paper only but it is a choice question given in 2015 let us read the question solve it so the, for a reaction a plus b is giving me products okay there are two reactants here okay then the rate is given by r is equal to k uh, rate is equal to k into the concentration of a and into b raised okay fine how is the rate of the reaction affected if the concentration of b is doubled simple question let us see so what is given to us rate is equal to k a and b square right so let me write solution now this is your first reaction now they said in the second minute rate of b is doubled so i'm going to write this is rate one let me assume this is rate two so now what did they say rate of b is doubled so 2b is square let me name this as 2 because it is doubled right so initially how was how much was the rate it is only one right here it has become double so what happened to the rate now rate has increased it has become 4b square so no so how many times did this increase here yes, compared to this this has increased how many times four times so rate has increased has increased four times that's it this is what the examiner wants you to write simple this is nothing this is doubled so two square is four done so i've done the first one let us do the second one what is the overall order of the reaction if a is present in large excess good have you already already given me the clue they said in that reaction a plus b giving me products a is an excess if a quantity is in excess as we have studied in pseudo first order reaction if a particular reactant is in excess the concentration of that particular reactant doesn't change so that's right concentration does not change so rate of the reaction does not depend on this so let us write if if a quantity is in excess is in excess rate of the reaction does not depend on that does not depend on them does not depend remember this if they've given an excess forget about that now what is the overall order when i say overall order of the reaction what is order basically the addition of plus and this isn't it this one and this confusion but already this is we're not considering this so what is the overall order only you consider for b so overall order is two this is your answer